Welcome to Electro Online. Since we touched upon things such as profit and cost and revenue, I wanted to touch upon one additional topic that is related to max mint problems, which is called the marginal cost. The definition of the marginal cost, that it's the cost to produce one more unit. And if we're given the cost equation, C of X, which is equal to 200 plus 4X plus 0.01X squared, we're supposed to find the marginal cost of the 101st unit produced. Now we're going to do it using some algebra techniques and then we're going to use the first derivative technique and see how they relate to one another. So let's find the cost to produce 100 units. So C when X equals 100 is equal to 200 which is the fixed cost plus 4 times X which is the cost per unit and there's 100 units being produced cost per unit plus there's an additional term here because as you're producing more and more units then the the push against the maximum limit of capacity begins to add additional cost and what that's what this term here represents so 0.01 times 100 squared now let's find out what that's equal to so this is uh, 400 plus 600 and that's 100 that's 10,000 that would be 700 altogether I believe right that's 10,000 that's 0.01 yeah so that would be equal to 700 and let's assume that's dollars now the cost to produce 101 and that should be a bigger C that's a capital C so that's equal to 200 that's a fixed cost plus 4 times 101 plus 0 0.01 times 101 squared. Now I think I'll use my calculator. Well, this would be an additional $4 plus whatever that gives us. So 101 squared, that's an additional $2.01. So this would be equal to $706.01. So that means, therefore, the marginal cost will be the difference between these two. That's the cost to produce 101 units, the cost to produce 100 units. So in this case, it would be $6.01. But there's an easy way to do that using the first derivative. So what we're going to do is take the first derivative of the cost function, which represents the marginal cost. So this is equal to 4 plus 0.02x. And now we're going to plug in the number 101 to see what the marginal cost is for the 101st unit. So C prime, when X is equal to 101, is 4 plus 0 0.02 times 101. And so 101 times 0 0.02, and that plus 4 equals, and so that would be equal to $6.02. Now, this is the exact marginal cost. This is the approximate marginal cost. But if we're only off by one penny, that looks like it's pretty close, a good estimate, and a much easier way to derive that equation and to derive that result. So there's an, an additional interesting concept using the first derivative by uh, calculating the marginal cost. And that's how it's done.